Hello everyone, this is David Koi Chow with Automotive Press, and I'm really excited to be here to talk about Toyota and to share more stories with you, which is something that many of you have asked from me based on some feedback from the podcast I did with TFL. So I'm here to tell you some stories and I'm going to do a number of videos about Toyota. And I'm going to first start off by showcasing some interesting things that you can very easily find on the internet, but most likely you've never gone to these sites. So let me walk you through and share with you uh, things about Toyota maybe you never, never knew. So stay with me as I will reveal some very fascinating background about Toyota. So first up, I'm going to just take you to the uh, Toyota Japanese website, which is toyota.jp. Now, by the way, if you're curious about how to pronounce Toyota properly in Japanese, uh, in Japanese, it's actually Toyota. Let me repeat again. It's Toyota. So it's not Toyota or Toyota or I don't know. So many different pronunciation out there about this, but it's Toyota. Anyway, I will kind of say it English way. Uh, so if you go to toyota.jp, it takes you to a Japanese website of Toyota, and you can use Google Translate and it'll translate into English for you. And so you can see it now, this is toyota.jp, and I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on this website, but the reason why I brought you here is to showcase the power of Toyota. And what I mean by that is that a number of cars they actually have for sale in Japan is astonishing. It's astonishing in comparison to what they do in North America. So here I have uh, small cars here. And so there's everything from Toyota Aqua to GR Yaris that you know about to weird cars like Toyota Paso and this micro minivan called the Rumi. All the way to number of minivans, not just the Sienna that we have. They don't sell that Sienna in Japan, but the most popular one is this uh, Arufodo or Alford. Uh, and there's all these different minivans. You keep on scrolling down and some of the sedans are familiar like the Camry and Corolla, but there's also this, um, like a Rolls Royce or Bentley level of a sedan called a Toyota Century that only presidents and corporate executives uh, own. And if you, you can keep on going, station wagons, SUVs, they sell Toyota Hilux, which isn't sold here, of course. Uh, and there's a whole bunch of other ones that are um, quite interesting here. And then you can also go into sporty section because this is called sport here. And in addition to Supra and 86, you have uh, GR Yaris and this tiny, tiny micro convertible called the Copen, which actually was designed in conjunction with uh, Daihatsu, which is its partner. Uh, we keep on going down here. I'm, here. I'm not gonna go through every single one, but this is GR Sport Division. So it's interesting to see, they even have a Prius GR Sport and, um, and CHR GR Sport and even Toyota Noah, which is a minivan GR Sport. So there's kind of interesting take on sporty versions of these cars. And you got the K cars, which is a tiny 660cc micro cars here as well. So this is all the different type of model they sell. And um, it's quite fascinating just to look at that. So you can continue to kind of search around this website. But the one that I wanted to show you today is called the Global Toyota website. So this is not Toyota USA or Toyota Canada. 
but this is the global site. It does come in both Japanese and English versions. So if you just type in global Toyota in Google search, it'll come up. And uh, it's if you, if you, it will usually come up in the English version first. And here it is. This is a website. And there's a lot about uh, Akio Toyota. But most people don't realize when you come to this website, first of all, it's in English. So that's very helpful. There's a wealth of information about the company that most of you have never heard. So under company, if I click on this company here, okay, this is the head off. This is where Akio Toyota reside. You probably didn't know, but this head office is right beside Toyota factory. So unlike typical executive who wants to have a separate headquarters located in some fancy big city, Toyota chooses to locate its head office right by its factory. So Akio Toyota sits in this top floor here. I've been to this building, I don't know how many times, probably 50, 60 times. Um, hard to get into this building unless you have a meeting. But, but this entire section area is basically Toyota Global it's a head office area. So I have been there many, many times. But I wanted to show you, if you scroll down here, you can see some interesting stuff. There is a message from the president, but I will take your attention to vision and philosophy. If you're curious as to why Toyota is now the largest car company in the world, why they make the most profitable cars, and why they don't fail and continue to succeed despite so many challenges, a lot of that have to do with the way Toyota thinks, the way Toyota evolves, and the way Toyota solves problems. So a lot of that can be seen under this vision and philosophy. So if you click on the vision and philosophy, I know it's a bit hard to tell, and you click on Toyota philosophy, this is very revealing about what Toyota really stands for. Now you can see this, this cone, the philosophy cone, is purposely kind of drawn in a kind of using old font to make it look a little bit retro. But this is actually a modified version of the old philosophy. And so this is a new version, which includes, among many things, Toyota principles on top, which I'll talk about in a second, partnership, software, and hardware, the Toyota way. Toyota way is the thinking and the framework about Toyota. And this, see, this is new. They put software and hardware. They didn't have that before, but now they do because of the fact that um, there's so much emphasis on connectivity and autonomous technology and AI and so forth. Uh, and in these, this mission and vision is somewhat modified from before. Now the mission is called producing happiness for all. And the vision is creating mobility for all. So what this means is that they are no longer talking about cars. They're not saying, uh, you know, the number one mission is to sell a lot of cars or make lots of profit. No, they say their number one mission is to produce happiness. And the vision or the direction of the company is to allow people to become mobile. It might not be cars. It could be something else, but they want people to become mobile in all different aspects. And this has been the message from President Akio Toyota for the last two to three years that he wants to turn the company into a mobility company that allows people to move around in many different ways. So if I keep on scrolling down, this is the founding spirit. This is the Toyota principles by the original founder, Sakichi Toyota. And I'm not gonna go read, read all of this here, but some interesting stuff here is that always be practical, always strive to build a home-like atmosphere at work. Uh, always have respect for uh, spiritual matters and remember to be grateful at all times. So very, very kind of uh, kind of soft-hearted, uh, very heartwarming message. This is the original message. And this is the new uh, up, updated version, which is producing happiness for all. So very interesting to read through this, uh, creating mobility for all. And the final value to the customers who are buying Toyota products is the Toyota way, combining software, hardware, and partnership to create unique value 
that comes from Toyota Way. And Toyota Way is a framework or thinking that makes everything stick together. This is how Toyota really evolves. I'm, I'm actually a global specialist that teaches Toyota Way and Toyota production system all over the world. That's really my background. And that's what I do for my primary uh, job. And so I'm a, and so I'm a big, big fan of Toyota Way, obviously, because that's what I teach. So if I keep on going here, there's other interesting stuff like, uh, for example, so I can click on this guiding principle here and it gives you the original principles again. Um, but also if I click on this Toyota Way, okay, so this is my specialization here. This is what I teach. This is what I talk about at conferences. Uh, but here is at Toyota, we act for others. At Toyota, we work with integrity. We drive curiosity, which this kind of picture is kind of very cute. Little boy playing with a cat uh, tail. Uh, and at Toyota, we observe thoroughly and we get better and better. This is a very important statement because better and better means they want to continuously improve their operation, their business, and their products and their services. And that continuous improvement is called Kaizen in Japanese. So Toyota is an expert in Kaizen. And then here, uh, a couple more here. At Toyota, we continue the quest for improvements. That's again, the Kaizen idea. And we want to have room to grow. So allow the brain and allow the mind to expand and keep options open and not be enclosed in one thinking. A little bit more to go. At Toyota, we welcome competition. So they're saying competition is good for everyone. We show respect for people and we thank people to have appreciation uh, for everything that, that they received from people. So this is very, very telling of the Toyota behavior and the Toyota thinking. Can you imagine seeing this in other car companies, global website? It's all about shareholders value, about money, profit, market share. That's what they talk about, how good they are. But yet here in Toyota website, it's very humble very close to heart and very much uh, about others, not necessarily about them. So that's the Toyota thinking here. And then I can keep on going here a little bit more. And if I click on Toyota Global Vision, it talks about some key concept, which is to lead the way and create the future based on mobility and to enrich lives uh, and to commit to quality. So I'm not gonna go through all of them here again, but uh, very interesting here. And then I also want to then show you one more thing here, which is Toyota production system, which is my specialization. This is, uh, this is what I teach. This is what I um, um, am very good at. I implement this stuff with many, many companies globally. So I'm not gonna go through all of this here, but the very important, important thing here is the basic principle that when something is wrong, you must fix it and you must prevent it from happening again. So we call that fixing means that you look for root cause and preventing from happening again is called mistake proofing or pokayoke we call it in Japanese. And Toyota is a big time believer in pokayoke so that they, you know, you can make mistake is okay as long as you don't let it happen again by coming up with a solution for it. So those are some really very important Toyota behavior that allows Toyota to produce you know, Tacoma trucks in Mexico, in right now is still produced in Texas, and yet the standard is the same, and both factories produce the same level of quality. So those are some interesting stuff. Now let's go back to the top page here. So we went through company here. If you click on, if you click on newsroom, then you get more uh, Toyota media news. And so these are some global news that's come up. And uh, uh, I'm not gonna go through each one here, but some interesting thing uh, in this section. Uh, but um, I think the other interesting section that people don't look is called the IR. It's on purpose, just put IR so people don't click on it. This is called investors relations, relations called IR. And this is where you find some really interesting nugget. And this is where a whole bunch of booklet, informational, uh, brochure and uh, even videos about Akira Toyota doing a speech 
can all be found here. So investors library, if you click on that, there is Toyota rep reports, financial report, annual reports. And so if I click on, let's say, uh, sustainability data bug, and this is a PDF, you can actually download this thing. So I open that and here we go. There is all this stuff. I'm not going to go through this about how they will sustain um, environment. Okay, so let me go back into here and um, let me go back into the previous page. And under Toyota report, for example, you can look at this uh, summary of what Toyota has accomplished over the last little while. So here is uh, some core values and uh, main message to shareholders from Toyota. A lot of very interesting information can be found here. Okay, so so let me show you a few, just a few more things here. So again, back into investors uh, relations section here. And uh, this whole section is quite interesting. So we were at um, investors library, but if you click on annual report, the 2021 is not out yet because it's not the end of March yet. So that's the year end for them. But if you click on this again, pretty interesting. I don't know if you want to learn this much about Toyota, but it's very revealing what they show you in their annual report. This is a PDF file. It tells you uh, complete, complete background about Toyota and what they intend to become. So here's a um, you know, message from the president. They want to become a mobility company, no longer a car company, right? So they're in the business of moving people, not necessarily doing that through cars. And so there's a message from the president, uh, focus about the future and developing people. That's a huge, huge focus for Toyota is the amount of time they invest into their employees and their um, partners. And uh, so there's all these recent initiatives. So this is probably getting into too much details. Here is some of the senior executives. I've met most of these executives. I've been fortunate enough to have met, uh, I think, every single president in the last 30 years. And most of these executives I've met at some point in my visit to Toyota. So I go and visit Toyota about three, four times a year. And um, yeah, except for last year, of course, with the pandemic. So anyway, this is quite all interesting. I'm not going to go through this uh, all completely, but you can kind of search and look around on your own. So that's all investors relation. And then the last part I want to show you is under mobility. So mobility is a new focus at Toyota. And so they here you can go and search the Toyota brand uh, site, the Lexus site, and you can go into the Japanese versions of these sites, which really show you more interesting stuff. And, or you can go into the GR site, which I think I've shown you this before, some really interesting stuff. And so that's pretty well it that I wanted to show you. If you go into, again, either Lexus or Toyota Japanese global site, you can look at some really interesting clips and videos about other things. Uh, and then here, sorry, I want to show you one more thing, which is, uh, here you go, TNGA. As you know, next Toyota Tundra is uh, going to be on the new TNGA platform, and it's about making ever better cars. So this is a new method, a new approach to designing, producing, and creating cars. Uh, so here they can, you can see TNGA, which is a whole new methodology. It's not just a platform, but it's also approach to manufacturing, designing, and uh, product development. So this is all stuff that you can take a look through at your leisure. And the type of type of cars that will be using a TNGA method or flat platform. So that's what I want to do. It's a pretty long video already. So I'm going to um, in the next series of videos talk about the behavior of Toyota. What's it like to work for Toyota? Uh, how do they design cars? How do they manufacture cars? Many different topics. So let me know in the comment below what else you want to know about Toyota or Lexus. And I'm going to continue to share my stories and my insight about Toyota and other brands with you. So thank you so much. I'm signing off.